Having trouble finding a job? Well, why not hire someone for free to find one for you? We'll give you the deets right after the cut. Hi everyone, whether you're early in your career or deep into it, one option for finding a job that few students and recent grads use is to hire a headhunter. What they do is pretty straightforward. You register yourself with one of these agencies and they look for jobs that will be a good fit for you. And better yet, it's the company that pays them for getting you hired, not you. Now I know what you're thinking. Man, if she's right, then all I need to do is spruce up my resume, call a headhunter to sit back, chill, and wait for the job interviews to come rolling in. Well, not so fast. If you're really serious about using these headhunters, aka agency recruiters or staffing agencies, then it's important that you really understand how they work. To that end, the jobpostings.ca team put together the following four headhunter factoids that you should know before using their services. First things first, headhunters aren't your personal talent agents, and if they were, you would be paying them out of your pocket. In reality, these recruiting agencies usually work for the companies doing the hiring, and it's their job to find talent or specific open positions and introduce that talent to the company directly. When these agencies get someone like you hired, then the recruiter usually gets a commission somewhere around 15 to 30% the applicant's annual salary. What this means is that if you do hire a headhunter, do your research and make sure they specialize in placing people within your industry or job function. This way the job interviews they refer you to will be a good fit with what you're after. Next, remember that these headhunters aren't paid to write your resume. It's your job to make yourself look like the best candidate possible. Remember, unless you're dealing with an executive headhunter, these people are managing hundreds to thousands of candidates. So while they may be able to give you a few tips here and there, the reality is that the quality of jobs they'll refer you to will depend a lot on the qualifications and presentations you bring to the table. What this means is that you have to be really proactive with your headhunter. Tell them specifically what you're looking for. Ask them if they can recommend a better application strategy to get you hired into the industry you're looking for. And then work on your skills and resume to make it as easy as possible for these headhunters to refer you to the jobs you're interested in. The third thing to keep in mind is that they want to partner with you. The thing is, is that if you're a good fit for the companies the agency works for, then you're helping them by being a good job candidate for those companies. Likewise, they're helping you because they already have the connections with the people and companies you're trying to work for, which means you get more interviews faster. What this means is that if you find a good headhunter, treat them well. Treat them like a partner, answer their emails quickly, make them look good in the interviews that they send you to, and in return, they'll push you to their top employers. But that leads me to the fourth point about headhunters. While most headhunting agencies are great and will do good by you, there are going to be some bad apples out there who think of you as just another number they can make a commission off of. These are the recruiters who will waste your time sending you to dozens of interviews that you're either not qualified for or companies you wouldn't really want to work for. That means that if you do decide to use a headhunter, take your time, look around, do your research, and make sure the agency you choose has the connections with the companies and industries you actually want to work for. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know. We'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click the like button or share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below.